Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Scorpios. And this is going to be a message for whenever it reaches you. I will be using my Guardian Angel Messages Tarot. And to clarify, I'll be using my Angel Wisdoms Tarot deck. So, let's see what messages we have for you, Scorpio. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. Thank you so very much for stopping by. Thank you for spending time with us. Oh my goodness, I hope you all are doing well. Darlings, please remember, take what resonates from these readings and leave what does not. Not every reading will be for you. And these cards aren't etched in stone, so anything can change. Okay, babies? We create our realities. So let's see. So Scorpio, this is for you. And always remember, these messages come from my heart to your heart always. So we got the page of water. Use your intuition. This is past energy. Very intuitive. You got... The nine of water. Your wishes come true. We got the Queen of Water. I would say that's you, Scorpio. <laughs> you got the Ace of Earth. New financial um, opportunity, abundance. Page of Fire. You're very creative, very enthusiastic about this opportunity. And motivated. Now you got the Seven of Water. You got, you got some choices and you need to make one. You got to pick one, but you got to... Don't overanalyze things, okay? Or you might miss out on the opportunity. Of course, pay attention. But don't overanalyze, okay, babies? If you don't understand what you're reading, get somebody to read it for you. You got the page of air. You're going to receive some information, some communication. It might be very straightforward communication. You got the ten of air here. There might have been an ending or there might be an ending, you know? But you're going to recover from it. It's not going to be an ending where you can't recover. We got the two of fire. You're making plans and you're partnering up with someone. And you're taking the next steps. So let's see. We have the page of water for Scorpio. Scorpio, you're very intuitive. You hear? So, on top of the page of water, we got the two of water, the four of water, and the ace of air. So, did you have some communication in regards to love? Or did you have to use your intuition in regards to someone that you met? Whatever it was, you fell in love, it seemed. And you're in your head. Why? You're being distracted by just everyday life. You're lost in your own world. You need to wake up, Scorpio. The ace of air. Ah, it's saying it lasts long. You're going to have mental clarity no matter what. Something, maybe something with love got you in your head. You know, because I can't see you being stuck. You know what I'm saying? You got the two of water, the four of water, and the ace of air. The nine of water, this is past energy, remember that? Um, your wishes and your dreams and your happiness and all that came true. Ace of water, abundance, abundance, your cup overflows, or it could be new love. 
Ah, the wise counselor. It could be knowledge gained. The five of water. Knowledge gained from a past situation. Something that kind of disappointed you. You got the five of water, the wise counselor, and the... You got the ace of water, the wise counselor, and the five of water. Then you... Queen of water, you. You got the knight of air. Very decisive, very focused, driven. Events are moving at great speed for you. Sudden or unexpected changes. And plan carefully before you take action, okay? This is past energy. You got the knight of air, you got the... Um, the Knight of Earth, and you got the Five of Fire. So make sure you pay attention. Stay focused. Wait for the perfect timing. And remember, ask your guardian angel if you need help. And you might be able to overcome, and you can always actually overcome a conflict. You can walk away from it. You got the Knight of Air, the Knight of Earth, and you got the Five of Fire. Then we have the Ace of Earth. Top of the Ace of Earth, you got the Queen of Air, you got the Eight of Air, and you got the Dreamer. So the Dreamer is about a new beginning. You, you can't, there's abundance here. There's some kind of opportunity. Um, the Queen of Air could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. The Eight of Air is about the illusion of being trapped, the lack of self-confidence, or maybe you're now seeing things for really what they are. You know, so the Queen of Air is also about clearing away things that no longer serve you. So that makes you start seeing things in a whole new light. You're not trapped anymore. Because always remember, whatever you got yourself into, you can get yourself out of. You got the dreamer. It's a new start. Trust yourself and push your fears aside. You got this. You got the Queen of Air. You got the Eight of Air. And you got the dreamer. And you got the Page of Fire. top of the page of fire we got the four of earth we got the six of fire and we got the queen of water so now that could be you again or that could be a pisces a cancer a scorpio within your environment so the page of fire here you're very creative enthusiastic about this new beginning because there is a new beginning here okay there is a new beginning you got the four earth, and it could mean that you're feeling stable financially, or it could be that you're just man you're managing your resources wisely. You're only getting the things you need and not what you want. You got the six of fire, whatever it is, babies, you all are gonna be victorious, okay? You will be successful at it. The queen of water, you're very loving and compassionate, huh? Huh? Uh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Use your intuition, okay? That's your gift. Use it. You got the seven of water. You got the emperor. That could be a fire energy in your environment, or maybe now you're feeling pretty stable. You're feeling, you know, I mean, everything is just falling into place. Your, st your stability and everything. You're taking charge of situations, however, um, actually you might be learning about meditation and going within and trusting yourself because we got the emperor, we got the four air and we got the high priestess. That's about trusting you and only you for the answers. Okay. You got the emperor, the four air and you got the high priestess. Trust your intuition, turn within for the answers. The page of air, truthful, you got some truthful um, and outspoken um, communication here. It caused some kind of conflict, it made you feel alone, but things are calming down for you. Whatever it was, is calming down. You didn't hang on to it too long. You got the five of air, it was an unwise choice, whatever it was, it was an unwise choice. You need to spend time in peaceful meditation. 
and things are going to start coming down in your environment. You got the five of air, you got the hermit, and you got the six of air. And you got the ten of air. On top of the ten of air, we got the, remember the ending, the ending that you're going to recover from. Um, the page of water, use your intuition, the sun and the moon. Happiness and positivity and things being revealed to you. You need to listen to your intuition. You know, that song sometimes you get, you know, it sounds like a, um, I want to say like a, like a, like a, like a hollow kind of sound. Pay attention to that sound. Trust your intuition. Revelations that will make everything clear. You got the page of water, the sun and the moon. Hmm, the sun and the moon. Huh. Use your intuition where the sun and the moon is concerned. The two of fire. Making plans. I'm going to go out to that bird in a minute. You know, he's calling me, you know. Every time I go, I just went out there to him. He shut up. And I go out there and then he run away from me. So we got the king of earth. This could be an earth energy in your environment. This could be a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. Oh, baby. Maybe you're just feeling financially secure. And you have a whole bunch of prosperity around you because you got the Midas touch right now. You got the lovers. That could be the Gemini. That could be a Gemini. Or maybe you need to make decisions where the heart is concerned. There is something unhealthy around you here where this energy is concerned. I don't know what it is. You got to make decisions where your heart is concerned or where this earth energy is concerned. Lovers is choices about the heart. It also signifies Gemini. You got the ego here, which tells me that this is not healthy for you. This is, um, you need to accept responsibility for your situation. Whatever that is, I'm going to pull a couple more cards. You got the king of earth, you got the lovers and the ego card. Why you come in here? But you got some unhealthy habits that you need to let go. You need to move on from. That's the Eight of Cups, the Ten of Earth, and the Awakening card. There's going to be a temporary pause until you get, you overcome this energy here. <laughs> you need to move on from it. You are going to be coming into some financial, um, unexpected finances. And you're at a temporary pause right now. But don't worry. Things will get better. Now you're going to find a lot of strength from something in the past. It could be a water energy, a gem, a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio. Or this could be you feeling emotionally balanced now. Maybe you've gotten over whatever issue you had with the past. We've got the six of water. We got the king of water, feeling emotionally balanced. And we got the strength card, which is about you finding your strengths, your inner strengths, your courage. And then I'm going to pull one more card from here for you. If you have found your strengths and your courage, it looks like the finances look pretty good. You know, there's just a little pause in action right now. There's a new start for you. Definitely a new start. Let's see this one. <laughs> Warrior, be fearless and stand strong. Let's see. Warrior. Don't back down. Make your options heard. Make your opinions heard. Don't settle for second best. If you're experiencing fear at this time, know that this means whatever is going on is important to, to you. Whatever you, whenever you, 
Whenever you feel fear, you are on the verge of something big, perhaps a massive breakthrough that is going to really help you move forward. If you have a situation on your hands where you have to face someone or something that's been unsettling you, know that you're being guided, guided to call up your inner warrior. Don't falter and don't be frightened because you have the energy to protect yourself now and at all times. Warrior. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves and we will chat soon.